Hi everyone, what's up and welcome. Today I'm going to go through a different combo for everyone. A combo that I've been doing for a while, but new cards gives you different ways to do the same combo. And now it's like dirtier than ever. Alright, the combo is this. As per usual, Dark Run plus Pen Call. In all honesty, you don't actually even need this. I'm just doing it this way because it's most comfortable for me. And it puts up the exact same end board that I want. But you can put up the end board regardless of having any of these cards. I just want to get up everything before the pendulum summon. As long as you can make the link tool beyond the pendulum before you pendulum summon, you can do this combo. Alright, so the combo is this. Pen call dark worm plus it, didn't, it doesn't even actually matter. Any monster, literally anything. Literally any pendulum monster. It's full combo. So we're going to pen call Dark Worm. We're adding specifically Celestial. It's not mandatory, but I like it because it gives you free value for not doing much. So he's like the best scale and the best normal summon. So I'm actually contemplating to play two at this point. Moving on. We're going to use Dark Worm's effect to summon itself. Next effect on field to add gate zero. We can scale up now. The scales does literally not affect anything at this point. Um, I made a mistake. We're actually not supposed to get harmonized if I bad. We're going to normal summon and link into Beyond the Pendulum. And she's actually the one to get harmonized in for us. It's time to pendulum summon. Harmonizing effect. I'll get this. I can immediately exceed someone freely. Um, it, there is no punishment for just exceed someone. In. And any of these two zones work. No, there are two ways to do this, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to go into Celine first. The reason why it's Celine is just to get the vortex on the field, so I can know where. I'm going to summon the cards. Now Vortex has to be summoned here for this combo. Must. Absolutely must. Your Selene is going to get the three counters as per natural. But remember, Vortex has to be summoned there. And by the way, the only reason why I did the combo with Dark Worm was to get the Vortex. Even if I didn't summon the Vortex, I would still have Savage Dragon. So you still win out, no matter what. So it's time for the next part of the combo. What I want to do is, first, we want to summon Hulk. So, we'll link with both into Hulk if I brax. This isn't actually the route that I practiced, so please don't be too hard on me. Um, from here, we can use Celine's effect. Pull back Shanky. And we can synchro summon. We will get our Chaos Rulo. For the purpose of the video, I won't do the mill, but you're almost guaranteed something. And from here... Actually, I don't even want the Chaos Rulo on the field. But I'm just going to proceed. I actually have too much. This is not exactly what I practiced. First, we're going to use O. We're just going to get by the free harmonizing. Because I tend to forget it a lot of times. We're going to link with both of them and do the most broken, unfair bullshit combo now. So we're going to link into Virus so Swordsman, Effect, Summon Zero Day, link with both of them, go into Berserker, Effect, pull back both of them. So it's a little really cheap combo to get to this point, like it's absolutely dirty. Um, use both of them to make our Rusty Bardish. I'm contemplating something right now. Um, we're going to link with both. From literally right now. No, 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 no. I'm, well, he can, but it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to summon Crusader. You're normally, you don't summon it so early. But because you already made the Rusty, it doesn't affect the combo. 
From this point, we're going to use Rusty's effect. You can now send Cloak to set a fog blade. Then you can use Cloak effect, banish itself, get boots. You have Rusty on field, you get to drop your boots and link with both. Go into Nightmare. Now in the event that I opened any of the Phantom Knight trap cards, I would have been required to keep Selene on the field so that it's calling so I get a free draw from using this effect. Not even just the PK trap, like if you open any trap card because you can send it first then set it back. Or even if I just wanted pen call back. What? Where is it? Okay. So even if I wanted pendulum callback, I could throw away even the harmonizing, set it, and I'll get a free draw. I'm not interested in doing it in this video, but I'm just letting you know, you'll get a free draw for it. And pendulum call is not something bad to have back on the next turn. Continuing. Boots effect. We get to add the second fog blade. You can set it immediately if you like. And the cheaper part of the combo... We went of our way to put Celine in the graveyard. This is so just for the sole purpose of having light and dark so we can summon the Chaos Dragon. We have several darks, but I'm just going to banish the 8 0. And then this can summon back itself. And the beauty of it, you don't take the burn damage on field because it's not linked. So everything else is linked except for it. But banish it still, even though it doesn't have effect, and your dragon is banished, and then you get hot red. You set up for the next turn. Actually, you know, the superior play was indeed to throw away the harmonizing and get the pen call. But majority of the duels, you don't know what might happen. You don't know if I might end on actual savage dragon, and I'll need a space, or anything can happen. It's you get, literally anything could happen. But the pen call was actually the better thing to do and toss harmonizing because not only do I get a free card, um pendulum call will be live next turn. And it's like I have the extra card, so I just go full plus. So that's just a thing to know. But here is it. The beauty of the combo, the real actual beauty of why this combo is good, is that my opponent's turn. Dark Ruler no more. The beast itself. You can now, when your opponent activates Dark Ruler, you can chain Fog Blade, targeting Rusty, and chain Hot Red to negate it. And even if they have, say, Droplets instead of Dark Ruler, not both, you can then still do the same thing. It's highly unlikely that they're going to pitch a trap card. Not saying it's impossible, it's just highly unlikely. <laughs> Alright, so this is the combo, guys. Basically, you're locking your opponent out of using special summons effect monsters. If they actually link someone something, this is there to negate it. So, in other words, it shuts down every single deck in the metal. Fusion, everything. Everything. They cannot activate their effects. And then, even then, you still have Vortex to negate something. Hot Red to negate something. They cannot attack you. They can't attack over it. Crusader Avramax is there. And then, even then, if they went to the battle phase with something, you have double fog blade. And even after that, this is specifically only for Hot Red, if your opponent somehow gets to negate it before you negate something, let it get destroyed, and Celestial will auto summon it back. So you can just summon back same zone because it will be linked. All your monsters are linked. This is just an almost impossible board for most decks to cross. The strength of the combo is that the setup is extremely easy. Extremely easy. I know I may have done it with the Dark Worm plus Pen Call, but that was only to get my Vortex. Even if I didn't do it that way, I would still end on Savage Dragon instead. Which is the same thing. This is just the same ass combo. There's other ways I can do the combo. 
But this is it. Like, to me, the combo is really stupid. There's a next version to the combo I wanted to show you guys, which is the synchro version, where I wouldn't summon Vortex. But you guys tell me if you want to see that video. And I'll have it done. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.